for the magic touch? You got great taste.
Oh, excuse me. I'm late for a meeting. Hey, enjoy the rest of this. Next person to spot some product placement doesn't have to go get pizza. Buddy. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy, and he's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh yeah, we'll talk. Go find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. A relationship can be trying, especially when she's getting. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what name. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than. You have to learn real closeness. How? Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Cuckold therapy works. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. There you are. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah, purple car, that's him. Fuck, he's on you. Let's go. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! That's what being fucked in the ass feels like! Shit! Not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. Hey, creepo! I'm her father, not a sugar daddy. You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks. Very entrepreneurial. I'm sorry this happened to you, baby. There's some real creeps out there. Yeah, guys from strip clubs, hookers. Hey, 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 that ain't me anymore. 
She's a lovely young woman. You've done a great job. Yeah, well, it's hard raising kids in this town. Come here, scumbag. You gotta get him, Dad. I can't live like this. What are you living like? I can't go out of the house. I can't go online. Well, then how do he find you on the web? My, um, my fan site, you know? Everything's so connected now. How you like that? We're all adults here. Let's act mature. This is Los Santos. It's normal. Yeah, well, come here, and I'll show you just how mature and normal I can be. Don't worry, just some gentle persuading. I'm worried you're not gonna kick his head in. Hey, what have I been known to react proportional? I'm just a fan. She's a fine young woman. And you're a scumbag. Get it! I'm going! I'll never come back! I'm an addict! I need help! I'm the victim! Don't kill me for loving her! That ain't love! It's the internet! You're a cyber creep! You're right! You're right! I'm getting help! Don't kill me! Run, you little bastard! All the way out of town! I'll leave the state! I promise! I'm going to Thailand! Hiya! I mean rehab! I had an accident. I'm sorry. Motherfucker! I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess. He really scared me, but I, I didn't know what... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Now, please. Try to make better choices. We've dealt with that crazy. You don't have to drive like a maniac. I'm a little keyed up, okay? I need to wind down. Maybe speeding and hitting people and swerving all over the place isn't the best way to relax. Just saying, hashtag. Maybe it's the quickest way to get somewhere where I can relax. Where? The grave? Death row? I know what I'm doing, baby. Just calm down. I think you're the one who needs to calm you maniac! No wonder I need medicating!
No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. isn't just about Jack. buddy.
for my customer. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Well, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in, so life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need, put those on, then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, oh, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well. Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. 
Don't worry. What's happening, Michael? Ah, my shift's about to start down at the FIB building. You know, get Gustavo and Norm on board. Be ready for my signal in the fire truck. Okay, at least half the crew is serious. But we'll be ready to do this thing, dawg. Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. There you go. Watch out, kids. The glamour of fighting crime with statistics in the FIB.
Dirty mop. Dirty. Hey, wait till I shake it off before you mop the floor. They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Shit's in motion, people. We raiding the bureau. Y'all ready for this? In and out, homies. Let's do it. Hey, I saw you over the weekend. All right, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on.
code. Must have hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. But don't worry. Pull up over here. All right, let's get in there. Was he on that industrial strip painkillers or that loose notory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We take these up six stories. Server room's on 53. Not much further. Let's push it. Man, he's dead. We can't take a corpse through this inferno. 
I'm trying. All right, we all got to change before we get there. At some point soon, an APB will go out looking for firemen. We cannot 
be playing dress up when that happens. We need to get through the ride and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking. about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. Jesus. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run Let's go where we stash the car. Come on. All right, we're going. All right, we all got to change before we get there. At some point soon, an APB will go out looking for firemen. We cannot be playing dress up when that happens. We need to get to the ride and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down, if they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't... I want to run into. <laughs> You're right. So, uh, take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? I feel a whole lot better. Take us to Lester. scientific results that will... Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people, I didn't think we were going to make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the department, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out. So, we got that to be thankful for. Norm's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Man, you really gonna miss him, huh? Hey, I don't like losing any of my crew. But, uh, Norm was special. He liked you, man. Yeah, he looked up to me, maybe. Man, when well, looking up to you, got that poor fool killed. Hey, that's the place up here. Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> Woo! Well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Ah! Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dickwad. Uh, for serious? 
Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck.
Ah, see? Maybe that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, come whoa. on, please. Are you fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American active. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Mike, this your frequency. What's over here at the end of the walkway? Top of those stairs. I ain't going in. Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. We're cut off. You're gonna have to go down the stairs at the other end of the building. What happened to Haynes? He get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. I'm a civilian! here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you hit the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him.
Looks clear. D, make a play for that stone bench by the pool. I'm coming down. I don't feel like you're contributing, Trevor! So tell me, Davy, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. Okay, okay. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. They'll be bringing bodies out of here by the truckload. Really, when they're burning, you know, like these guys don't have a funding problem. What happens to Hanks? Norton gonna pop them at the water.
are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, no, 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 that's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Oh, uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What are you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know, how'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Michael, Michael, Michael. Michael, what would you do without me?
Post, post, post irony. I told him I'd make a movie about his ass and call it Cunts in America. But that will be the post-ironic use of the word cunt, both offensive and at the same time curiously anodyne. <clears throat> hey, what the fuck? I find your t-shirt more than a little offensive. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's post-ironic hipsters. If you don't like it, you can go back to Canada, dude. Come on, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, Run, you little fuck! <laughs> with me.
You're never gonna win that, little guy. Мы здесь защищаем честь Америки. Это предназначено судьбою. Гордая страна, которая может совершить геноцид и назвать это волью Божьей. Come on, let's Bracha. go! Let's Bracha. go! Get in! Get in! Rachen. You still got that stun gun? Oh, good man. Always prepared. Oh! Oh, the depths old troll for 500 bucks. You two are completely loco. If you'll forgive my use of Spanish, you do know what that means, right? You spout all this hippie nonsense, but I know you're a patriot, Trevor. I can just tell by looking at you. We had our eye on this fella for a while. Illegal farming, bartering of goods, deep into a shadow economy. Okay, give me a clone so I can incapacitate him humanely. <laughs> Adios, amigo! Hey, Civil Border Patrol, keep your hands where I can see them. This is a citizen's arrest. Not you lunatics again. You could have killed me. Get in the vehicle now, sir. Do you guy, do you guy. Okay, okay. Good work, boys. <laughs> now head for the cement factory. We got reports of more illegals working over there. Where are you taking me? This is a kidnapping. This is time for you to go home to Mexico, sir. What are you talking about? This is my home. I have my papers right here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see that. Oops. Из рук выскочили. You won't get away with this. I report you! <laughs> you want to report me? <laughs> Are you sure this old man's a threat to American freedom? Sure as I've ever been about anything. Jesus, you're a real fuckwit. How'd you get your hands on this patrol car? Uh, I'm a proud park ranger, my friend. A trained security professional enjoying his time off. Well, and Joseph here, uh, well, I ain't sure what he does for a living. Step on it, Trevor! Well, now that's an admission of guilt. If I ever saw one, probably cartel members or child molesters. 
Who the hell are you guys? Who the hell are we? Where are we? Or America? Gordy Americanzi. He doesn't even speak English. Yeah, but he can sing the national anthem like a choir boy. Один нелегал на земле. We'll come back for him. Don't let the other one get away. God, beauty. Civil Border Patrol, run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? Okay, okay. Let's go, buddy. You're coming with us. Yeah, yeah, underlay, underlay. Come on, move. In the vehicle now. I said move or I will zap you again. I'm getting in, okay? Crazy assholes. All right, fellas. Move it. Ah! Oh! 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 I thought I had an irrational hatred for my fellow man, but you two are something else. Please, I have a family. Well, that ain't my problem, sir. You've outstayed your generous welcome offer to you by these here United States. What? I have a visa. It's in my passport at my house. They are arrested for preступление против демократии. What? Go car, go now. Okay. Двигай, или я тебя заставлю двигаться. Go, go, fucker, go! Take it easy, I'm going, I'm going. Well, good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. You're a fine patriot. We'll take it from here. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one last time nicely to get out of the car. So I just get left here? We made Uncle Sam proud today. That was close.
care what you say. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut. Just keep it shut. Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. Oh, I love you! Oh, let me take you away from all of this! You psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are... Completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it. On the bike. Now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes!
me. Be done with this. Shut up. Don't talk to me. I defended your honor. I took out the alpha male. Evolution demands that we rot like beef. Oh, God. Fair reason, but not to the sick walls and jungle bullshit. That volcano of issues inside you? I want to see it erupt! You really want to be buried out here! Just think of all the angry revenge sex! Okay, well jack me off and do a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect! You got this! I don't think so, creep! Who's the daddy now? You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! Cakes. Oh, God! Fair reason, misogynistic mobs and jungle 
Crazy cakes! Crazy cakes! Shut up! Don't talk to 
Now talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Jerry the misogynistic boss the jungle bullshit! Go fuck yourself! If you want it so much, come and get it! Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your thick head! Okay, well jack me off into a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect! No, 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 no! I'm not letting you get away that easily! Who's the daddy now? Hey, I'll let me y'all peace.
make some kick-ass food, man, and that's for damn sure. Now listen, I was listening to Rebel Radio the other day, and I thought, you know, damn, man, those little fellas, they know how to party. Another big ass mess on my property? Chop, I gotta train you to shit on the neighbor's yard. Get your ass up, boy. Chop, back on. <laughs> you made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA? And everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him. Calm him down. Just get me out. He said I'd like to see you if you don't mind. He said I'd love to dad if I can find Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there.
Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Deva, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> okay, okay, the airport. Like you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strong. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Oh, oh, oh! The 
you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by Korea. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously.
hija sé. Mami, mira, I'm abogada. And I say. ¿Y el esposo? ¿Dónde está? Así es. Me and you got business somewhere else. Get your skates on, bro. Okay, have it your way. See you later, dog. This is Raul from the cab company. They said you bought the business, so I wanted to introduce myself. All right, cool. Shit. Good to meet you. It's a solid business. We do well. Some of our regulars can be a little fussy, but what do you expect in LS, right? I'll give you a call if anything comes up, okay? All right, sounds good.
Hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do.
this shit. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't wanna be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. They coming for us right now.
Hey, Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. Come on, guys, they're here in force. You gotta move. The crazy dude here, too. Hey, jerk! All right, Lamar, let's go. Let us go. Don't think I owe you because you turned up to this shit. Nigga, I don't think shit. I'm doing this for my own peace of mind. Boy, long dick drank for free. You heard? Hey, we getting out of here, man. Let's go. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't been let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the fence end. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show, sure? cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. What y'all? 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dog. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? 
me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help him. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. You know the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knows Stress. Fool! Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them callers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sees you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You were like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you would think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something, you know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean... 
thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the poor house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dawg. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Oh, fuck. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Flossing ass, nigga. to all while fm You know, this car ain't quite the party bus. Some other time.
I think this is yours. Incredible, dude. You should keep some of that for yourself. Ese, Felipe, ¿quieres ir a un partido? from our exclusive line. The producer does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on! A limo, Jim? Really? The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer, too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the street's edge, losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy! Read my neck rolls entitled E N T. Uh, title! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. 
Oh, absolutely slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste! You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the thought is that uh, crossed my mind. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're going to see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, Fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Uh, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame. Um, can I do some acting on the side? I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. What's happening? Where's mom? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. He'll be fine. They're tough. This is just... This is just a movie guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. What are you waiting for? Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. You gotta save them, Pop. Daddy's home, hey, you, you pricks. Let's do this! 
Neither do I. Just keep calm. Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Well, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. Get word to Frank and Trevor. Try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you. I'm gonna take care of this.
DeSanta. Good to see you. What's good? I'm mad tight, yo. I call Randall with some butter ass. I lost count of how many booby got me. There's too many choices if, when, why, what, how much you've got. You've got to get it so hard to wish you choose a hard or soft option. You gotta give me some You want a special dance? Just for you? Hey, baby, want a private dance? Loser! Can somebody get me a sandwich? Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, all right, all right, right. Enough! You're... Enough! Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can, you're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's gotta be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again. I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. And only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Well, he's had my back on every job since I got up and running again. He deserves a shot at the big one.
And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. This guy, Ricky, I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. What the hell, bro? Look up in the sky. Come, 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 Mick, you're come on. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy! I was on my I way. Swear to God, two years? You can turn yourself in at the front desk. I still don't mind. Meriwether Private Police? Nah. Uh, uh, Let's see that new one. The one that just came out. It's about the finance guy. What's it called? Meltdown. Anton Bartolaire, yeah. A lot of buzz. They're talking statues. It's an art house? You're trespassing! Get on the floor! We are airborne and in route. Attention, any David. Unit. Attention, David. Unit. Attention,
Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. Lucky, buddy. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Front, okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. 
It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better you things to do. Well, shit. I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I... Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled, because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. Dad! Dad! You got my son in there. Give me back my boy! And I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. You'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Asshole. Call me an idiot, but a troll, Jim. What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, oh man, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something. With its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its own. Enough! Alright? E fuck enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times. Great times. The fucking fun you have. Troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. You should get some help with that personality. Oh! 
Come on, bro. I'm the move. What kind of person you are? Join the organic elite at the What is this bullshit? With superiority, food has never been.
from a toad to a prince. Lester, first gauntlet's ready to go. All right, that's good work. Drivers, but you! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got lucky, buddy!
Stalin. Let's get this over with.
was a nice car.
good as new.
too close. Drivers, but you! Woo -hoo -hoo. What is this bullshit?
primed and ready. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. And we'll meet at the strip club. Mr. DeSanta, good to see you. All right. Hurry up. Get changed, all right? This is the biggest day of your sorry little life. Hey, man. So we're really doing this shit. Frank, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cool. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. Come on, we're on the clock. Let's get to the tunnel. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? These... Carson, that... Fucking guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. It went down okay, didn't it? You don't want me on board? I can walk. You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that what this is about? If they're the diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to me. Don't listen to this asshole. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one. And fuck me if we don't need any doubts in the back of our heads. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. No need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Deploy the stinger. Okay, now keep driving. Get out of the vehicle! Let's go! Oh, shit. Move your ass! You do not want to die for this shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no! Get a fucking move on! Come on, move! Hurry up! Just hold on! Move, let's hey, go! Please, you get these please, ready! Please. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter commence! Who you like? This one. No. Oh shit. Hey, please, whatever you do. Yeah, no shit. 
We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, go, go! Get in! Let's go! go come on! Go, move! Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Next stop, the Union Depository. Shit, 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 shit! Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck! Fuck! Look! Casey! I need you calm. You're no use to me when you're freaking the fuck out. What you want to be right now is useful. Yeah, right. Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Hits me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Eggplant 22 in sight. Stand by. They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization. Good. 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 Access is good. Courtesy escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Right behind you, sir. And I'm right behind you. Yeah, I can see you. I got eyes in the back of my head. Then you see me aiming right between those eyes in the back of your head. How's things? Uh, good. Yeah, uh, um, uh, fine. I bet the freeway is an absolute B star star CH today. <laughs> Tell me what it isn't. And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your minds, staring at more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Collection team is here. You ain't getting through that thing with a chisel. Hey, so, you know what to do? Uh-huh. Come on. Okay. Job to do. Absolutely. Oh, shit. Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Now, well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. Come on, we got a schedule game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. These are heavy. A little over two tons of pallet. Yeah? So what's that worth? Gold's trading at uh, around 1,700 to 2,000 an ounce. 35 ounces a kilo, give or take. 1,000 kilos a ton, so that's... $200 million or thereabouts. Give me a sip. Yep, that sounds about right. Collection team has the cargo. Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know, your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. Ah, my back! This 
much metal ain't normal, is it? Quite irregular. Order came down this morning, but the computer cleared it. Well, let's hope no one untoward gets word. That's what you and the rest of the security gets paid for, isn't it? Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. Ah, that's it! Let's go! Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe I could on, just, Casey, you know... Hey, come on, Casey, suck it up! You can't handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. That's right. This man right here will teach you a little something about moderation. Thanks. No. Thank you. Really. Cargo is gone. Cool case. We unload in mission row, you go on your way. Control, we got the metal. What's your situation? Not good, man. Very well know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Fuck. You got a solution for this problem? We tapped into the traffic light system. I'll try to keep them away from you. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, 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 the link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this shit seem easy enough. Okay, we in. I got you a clean connection. Shouldn't be any lag on switches. Good work. I'm heading south. I'm across. Hey, shit, man. Heavy's showing up on the east. Okay, I gotta go east here. The light is green. Hey, man, take a left. Hey, I picked up more Merriweather northwest of your position. Then, uh, make a right turn. This one looks good. Now don't turn, keep going. They're waving us through. Now you gotta make a right here. There it is. Hey man, God's showing up on the west side. Shit, you about to run into these fools. Yeah, uh, make a right right there. Shit, more ain't coming from the south. Hey, the north side, man. Mary was on top of you. Boom. All right, now you're almost done. You're good. Green light ahead. Change is in. Oh, fuck. On the right. You about to see some angry-ass mercenaries. Hustle up. You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the metal. Damn right, all without firing a bullet. Ah, oh, don't forget our pace here, uh, huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives, we ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. T. Well, no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. What? Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing is your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I always jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old flaccid boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking A! Yeah! Oh, yeah, man! Fuck! Work first, pick a later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Mary with it! Mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep loading. We'll deal with this. Oh, Tell the dog, dog, please! It's a good day we pay to teach people to get off! Fucking Merriweather! What the? Oh, God. Just in time for the action to start! Good thing you changed the Get back! Hustling. I'm hustling! That ain't even fair! Uh, go away! Hold him down! 
If I'd known you'd be this annoying! me from riding off into the sunset, huh, with my saddlebags of bulging huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You want to try? Be my guest. All right. Lead the way. You're on me.
I don't see the vehicles. Okay, seal the tunnel and get a ground team in there. Stat! Take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Hang on. We're, we're just leaving the gold. Yepper. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. Faith? In you, buddy? All right, in Lester, in the process. Come on, we've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. <laughs> man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I can finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores, and you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. Gentlemen! Ah, uh, Lester. We have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched, well then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that, uh gonna be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done. Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. Let's Here's fuck, 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 fuck you, you man. Hey, 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 hey. God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of Whiny West Coast douchebags! 
What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel. And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots. Hey, leave Lester alone. Oh, oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. You all are assholes. Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. For sure, man. Come on, I'll give you a ride. I'm unbelievably late for a flight. I need to get to the airport fast. Check-in closes at 6.30. I can't miss it. Piece of crap rental car. Of all the days, the average American spends 15% of their income on running a car and almost two hours a day in transit. You'd expect these auto manufacturers could deliver a reliable product. Sorry, I'm a numbers guy, but outward facing. I can work a spreadsheet, but I can also work a room. I run the models, I date the models, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I have to take your word for it, though. So, uh, what flight are you trying to catch? Liberty City. I'm an equity analyst in Algonquin. Tech comms. The big leagues, man. The pressure, it can choke you. But I live for that shit. Name's Tim, with two M's. Because, mmm, mmm, I am hungry. 24-7. What's your name, buddy? Franklin, with one E. Well, listen, buddy, because you're helping me out, I want to help you out. My back, your back, they both get scratched. Get me to the airport on time, and I'll give you the kind of tip you can really take to the bank. I am hung over. The vendors took us out last night. <laughs> I had so many tits in my face at one point, I thought it was going to suffocate. We dropped 5 k on bottle service, so go figure. I know what you're thinking. With everyone belt tightening, is not cool. But you got to stop mixing up investment and retail. We didn't cause this housing bubble or the last one. <laughs> I don't even speak to those retail drones. You know, you're a really interesting guy. Good to talk to you. Shit, I didn't know I was talking. And this new bubble crisis bubble? It's just hysteria, anyway. There's a boatload of money to be made in the downturn, if you know what you're doing. And idiots lose paper, whatever the weather. When the storm comes, I make it rain, baby. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just make this flight. Oh no! I only got one hour before they close the gate! Woo, too close! I think I can still make it. Buddy, I owe you big time. Okay, here's my tip. Buy shares and tinkle now. You won't regret it. Hey, you got off lucky, homie.
Oh, shit. Hey, don't make me commit a 187, ho. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. B, 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 Ben's your answer is. And you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin, what's up? Shit, what's cracking, homie? We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? 
Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burro, on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? You like it rough, baby? Franklin, what's up, big homie? Mike, man, I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want him gone. And Devin Weston want y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. Shit. Somebody gotta go. Oh, well, ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we meeting at a Borough Heights. So you think you can help? <sighs> I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I I'll see what I can do. Too close! Fucking piece of shit! That's dumb luck right there. Hey, man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? Oh, peachy. I know what this is about. You do? Of course. It's Michael. You're the peacemaker. Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking kill him! Oh, 
So you gonna run from me, huh? Where you going, homie? through the oil field. Shit. Okay. I'm not far away. Try and stop him. Grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24 7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing, but fuck him. I mean, there's gotta be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, then. It is what it is. Hey, it's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. 
Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Ugh, oh, this place is so boring. They totally need to get me a condo. I think if I behave like enough of a bitch, maybe they'll give me. My God, I can't stand you people. I'm not even gonna give you a name. You know who you are, and you know what you are, even though you all try to deny it. Oh, not me. I just happen to be into wax mustache. She doesn't know, of course, but she reads my emails and text messages. Fuck! 
fucking shit! You got lucky, buddy!
Keep cooling, old baby. It's just a call. Oh, my God. I cheated on my tax returns, which are the fastest. Shit. I'm done with this. Hello. Uncle T, Dad. I, I just heard he's... He's... He's not going to bother us anymore. We're safe. Uncle T, he was a good guy. No, he wasn't. He was dangerous. Uncle T, did you do it? Did you, Dad? Uncle T wanted to kill all of us, Jim. He wasn't well. Uncle T? Man, fuck! Shit, it's time to go. Hey, what's happening, homie? Man, you right about stress, dog. Dude janky as fuck. After all the scams and attempted homicides, huh? Now you say he janky? Well, excuse me if I want to see the best in people, nigga. But this is, though, homie. I got to stay low-key. <laughs> yeah, you do that. And keep breathing, dog. Trevor, apparently he's, he's dead. Yeah, I, uh, I heard. Fuck, I mean, he was like my uncle. Shit, yeah, man, he was kind of crazy, dawg. I mean, we all a little crazy, but he was a lot of crazy, homie. Uncle T, man, can't believe it. Yeah, bad business. But this life is bad business sometime, homie. Shit, I see you, dawg.
Okay, I did it, all right? I know, good dog. Look, man, Devin Weston came to talk to me. He wanted me to clap Michael and let Trevor go. Then you should have clapped both of them. Man, ain't it something you and Dave can do? Cause he might be pissed, man. Dave can't do anything. Dave's lucky I let him do my paperwork. He's this close to discharge with no pension. Well, shit, is this something you can do? Sure, I can talk to Devin. He's licking his wounds after Meriwether lost her license to operate in the state. He might need a friend. Oh, yeah, okay, shit. I hear it could be real useful having an FIB agent looking out for you. Hey, your chips are cashed, pal. Don't contact me again.
the fuckers, eh? Don't do it! Stay away from that case! really makes me happy. I mean, who would have thunk it? Your dad's an artist. Yeah, geez, Dad. That sounds great and all, but I, I gotta get back to the 21st century, okay? I'll see you later. Bye.
crazy! Don't push your luck, buddy! The house life is a superhero. Great! I wanted to be an actor, and this is real acting! God, give me strength. Starting a new raw diet this week. Moron. Your dad's back! <laughs> Ugh, the things we do for our health. Drinking grass? Really? Ugh. There's a reason why most people have...